morning children i hope you all are fine now today we are going to discuss the second chapter that is the earth the third uh, this is the third video now in earlier video my dear children what we have learned we have learned about the shape of the earth right and then we have learned about the unique features of the earth now let's learn the third part that is the movement of the so now what we are going to learn today movement of the earth now my dear children the earth moves in on two ways in which two ways the earth moves first on its own axis and second on its own orbit so this two movement is known as rotation and revolution yes my dear children today we are going to discuss about rotation and revolution now my dear children to understand more better about the rotation and revolution uh, here is one example for you look at the picture this picture is of spinning top you might be known about the spinning top it you play for playing right so now observe this spinning top carefully when you play so when a when the spinning top when it spins how it spins means how it moves in which direction it moves it moves from west to east right my children so while moving from west to east it forms an axis confused my dear children about axis axis means an imaginary line spinning object form an imaginary line that line is known as axis so what is axis spinning object have an imaginary line that is known as axis so when however when this spinning top stops spinning what will happen suddenly the line vanishes same you will see on the earth when the earth it moves means when it spin around its axis what happen there is a formation of an axis so it which passes through north pole and south pole because of the spinning of the earth around its axis there is a rotation what is rotation spinning of earth around its axis is called rotation my dear children you might be clear about the rotation what is rotation spinning of the earth around its axis is called rotation now another example i'll give you the next example about now they as uh, assume that torch is the sun right assume that torch is the sun and the earth is a ball now what we are doing my dear children now first i am lighting the part to the ball so what will happen the part which receive light in that part it experiences as a day and the part which does not receive light means it experience night time right my children children so because of rotation and because of rotation there is a changes of day and night as the earth rotate around its axis so the part which uh, face the sun that part will receive light means it experience day time right my children and the part which does not or uh, the sunlight is not receiving on that part means it experience night understood my dear children about the day and night so what is the causes of day and night because of rotation means because of the movement of the earth there is a changes of day and night hope you have understood about the rotation and the day and night right now suppose my dear children 
while in the take example while in the moving train this you might be have travel in the train right yes maybe during vacation or sometime you go to the other place so what happen while in the moving train we see the object outside as we think that it also moves along with us does it move no it does not move our train moves that all the object outside it remains still so why this happen because the movement say the earth also moves when it moves it uh, causes the day and night now my dear children what happen if there is or not a movement on the earth what will happen if the earth does not move what will happen in some part of the country in all the time there is a day will experience as day right and other part will experience the whole time they will experience as night time in that day time you will see there is too much hot and other part that is too much cold so earth should rotate if the earth rotate only then we have a day and night got it hope you have understood about the day and night got it my children now we we'll move to the another that is a revolution now before starting the revolution first i will tell about the rotation that how much do you know how much time the earth take to rotate around its axis do you know how much time it take it take 24 hours to rotate around its axis how much hours 24 hours to rotate around its axis now come on now we we'll move to the next that is a revolution now what is revolution movement of the earth around the sun what is revolution movement of the earth around the sun is known as revolution it moves in a fixed path and that fixed path is known as orbit the earth orbit is in elliptical in shape right so what i talk about the revolution the earth move around the sun how it move around the sun that is revolution and it moves in a fixed path and that fixed path is known as an orbit got it now after that we will discuss that how much time it takes to revolve around the sun it takes 365 days to revolve around the sun how much 300 days and now uh, uh, because of that because of the revolution there is a changes in the season because of revolution there is a one cause is that change in the season hope you have understood about the rotation and revolution now my dear children what you have to do you have to read the textbook thoroughly and understand and in the next video i will go we are going to discuss question answers and new